I'm Kieran, I'm the head of B2B sales at Waterhall um, and yeah, we're a three-year-old company focused on our impact on the environment. So we collect ourselves and repurpose the most harmful and abundant form of ocean plastic, ghost nets and fishing gear um, into high quality functional products. Are there any barnacles in these? <laughs> Generally, the worst thing we get is like a bit of seaweed and it can't be that nice to deal with. Um, but through the partner we work with in the UK, they send it through a whole process of cleaning, they then shred it down and then it goes through a cleaning process again. So it is a focus to get it really kind of as clean as possible before it gets made into the product itself. Um, but yeah, seaweed's the worst of it. <laughs> the Harlan Aqua range that we have here is by far our most popular option in terms of the styles we do. And it's down to its unique colour. Um, essentially, the frame itself derives its coloration from 100% of the material itself, which is this monofilament nylon, which we source from Newlin, um, which is down in Cornwall. And as you can see, it's a really unique coloration and the translucency feeds into this, so it's not a really hard hitting green color. It kind of softens it a little bit as well. Um, so yeah, we're really proud of this because there's no pigmentation added to it whatsoever, um, which allows us to have a really unique offering. The Senans that I'm wearing, they're our most latest launch. They've been specifically made for the ophthalmic market. They're made from nylon, which we collect from a Newland Harbour in Cornwall, and it is 100% of that material. Um, so it's local to us as well. It's got the flexi hinges, um, which we've incorporated for this specific market. The slate colour has been thought about to kind of link itself back to the Cornish coastline, um, give it a little bit more of a, an earthy feel as well. With eyewear, it's a consumer product, it's a case of revaluing this material to create a consumer product, but a very durable, high quality product. And because of the consumerism aspect, people will just want them constantly. They'll cycle through different styles. So if you're in a market like that, if you can make a product that has a kind of an eco focus, but is engineered to last someone essentially a lifetime, that's where we're going to start to see the real change. And I think with the eyewear market, there's so many options. If we can try and make each pair last as long as possible and give it its longest life cycle, that's the first step. And then across our ranges as well, we're really focused on the circular economy focus of it. So for example, if our frames get damaged, um, they can be sent back to us with a lifetime guarantee um, and we also can facilitate new lenses as well um, if there's a damage there but the materials themselves can all go straight back into our supply chain so again I think that's kind of the next step is if there is damage it can actually then go back into a brand's supply chain so it doesn't just get thrown away and add to the problem.